beloved President, Mrs. Yolanda G. Topo. Our school director, Mr. Juanito G. Topo. Ms. Josefine C. Gapa, our principal. Our distinguished guests, namely, Mrs. Consuelo B. De Rosario, DS1 Private School Supervisor of the Department of Education, Division of Bulacan, Dr. Panchita C. Crisostomo, and Ms. Angel Fian Peter Sr. Members of the academic and non-teaching personnel, parents, friends, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. Yesterday, standing at the school gate, I took the time to survey, as if to imprint in my memory the images of our school's grounds, its buildings, stairways, hallways and corridors, our classrooms, and they thought, I saw myself four years ago in my neatly pressed new school uniform as a freshman in this institution. Excited their running, school bag and go, to join my equally eager classmates in a beeline moving toward the door to our room, where a smiling and smartly dressed teacher welcomed each one of us. How fast time flies! What you and I have just seen a while ago was the processional line of zestful adolescents marching over this very stage to receive their diplomas certifying the fruits of their labors. All of us are happy as we mark another milestone in our educational policy. I would like to thank this opportunity to express in behalf of the class of 2009 our heartfelt gratitude to the administration, the faculty, and the staff of our alma mater, St. John Baptist Academy, for providing each one of us the necessary curricular and co-curricular experiences needed to nurture our minds and hearts as tomorrow's leaders. It is hoped that we, the graduates, have been trained in such a way that we will be able to manifest the educational philosophy of our school. First, that we have been equipped with the intellectual competence necessary to hurdle any challenge or adversity down the road called life. Second, that we have been imbued with the ideals of justice, peace, freedom, and love, needed to be useful and responsible global citizens. Third, that we will be responsive to the needs of the people and not the community where we live. And fourth, that we will be active agents of change in the society where we constantly interact. As we leave the portals of our alma mater, I know that each of us is fully aware of the realities our world faces today. The life ahead of each of us is not a bed of roses, but a world given with challenges and adversities that we individually have to face for our own generation and for the future generation's survival. What are these challenges? According to a United Nations report, two issues confront the world today. Global financial crisis and climate change. Even the nations whom we look up to as icons of progress and economic wealth have admitted that the global financial crisis and climate change have not at the pillars of the stability and sustainability of their own resources. The global financial crisis has become a bane to both the so-called superpowers and the developing and underdeveloped nations. Countless companies and institutions have shut down or made cost-cutting measures, thereby rendering millions of people jobless. 
the standard of living of the world's human population is being shaken to its knees, thereby causing a decline in the quality of life. In short, poverty incidents, already a global phenomenon for centuries, will accelerate in terms of magnitude. On the other hand, climate change, which is highly influenced by global warming, is one of the most serious threats to our environment and is being called humanity's greatest challenge, since it affects the very existence of life on this planet. According to scientists, climate change will increase the world's atmospheric temperature, resulting in devastating droughts along wide regions of our continents that adversely create massive famine, peculiar migration of animals and people, and deaths or even extinction to large numbers of species. The water level of our ocean may rise due to the melting of the polar ice caps, causing massive floods, stronger hurricanes and typhoons, and extreme weather patterns than seen in the age of mankind. Fellow graduates, the world's environmental situation, as well as its as, as stable economic future, presents to each one of us the challenges and opportunities upon which to dedicate the intellectual competence that, is, that has been nurtured in us by our St. John Baptist Academy. We are called upon to stand up and take action, not sit down and be indifferent. We are called upon to be instruments of positive change, whatever career we choose, and not be mere spectators. We are called upon to serve not only our own selves, but three central beings, God, 